Hello Leo, this is your mid-July 2019 reading, five card spread for those born under the zodiac sign of Leo. Let's see what's going on here. Hopefully you're having a good July so far, even though Mercury is in retrograde for you, for everybody, but it's, you know, you're feeling it just like everybody else. Or maybe not, not everybody feels it. <clears throat> Let me see what's going on. Incoming energy. Remember, Tro is here to help, not to hinder. If you don't like the path that is shown, take a detour. Remember, this will not resonate with everyone. Mm, you're not feeling well, are you? Prince of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> Prince of Wands. I know everybody says when they see a Wands energy in reverse, they say it's the most horrible thing in the world, but not necessarily. They can be short-tempered, especially when they're not feeling well. This could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and it could be that they're not feeling well, depressed, agitated. Maybe someone irritated them. It's all kind of reasons. But we'll find out more. And remember, uh, I do um, clarify with another deck, and it changes the story up. So bear with me as I describe each card as, as well as best as possible. You got the Prince of Swords in reverse. You could be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra that has harsh words, abrupt, and they come across wrong. Obstacle, you feel like you didn't gain a victory with them, or you're gonna you're not you're trying not to let them gain a victory over you. Current environment in mid-July, you feel like you didn't get a fortunate situation with this person. You feel like they are a misfortune. Decision time, you know, in a way, it's like a little, um, I don't know, adjustment, sort of like the judgment in some ways and trying to weigh the balances, trying to figure out what to do, how to go about the situation, but it's adjusting to the situation of what this person is bringing to your life. You, you may, um, I don't know, we got to find out, maybe they're going to do something, I don't know, that's going to have you feel like they're a misfortune or maybe you're just going to remember things, you know, that way. Yeah, you're putting something to rest. They're a misfortune and you don't want this person around you anymore. So let's find out why, what's going on. Remember, Tarot's here to help, not to hinder. If you see this path and you think it's not a path you want to go on, change it. You don't have to deal with it. And it starts with the Prince Prince of Swords. And the Prince of Swords is in reverse, like I said. It's someone that's kind of, you know, harsh on their words. Or they're kind of all over the place when they're talking. And, you know, get under your skin sometimes. But sometimes we get under their skin, you know, or Leo does. So Prince of Swords in reverse. Why are you there for Leo? They may want to regain strength with you. They may want to see how you're doing. Maybe you are sick and they're saying, oh, I just want to make sure you're doing well and regaining strength. And then they say something off handled, you know. So Prince of Swords in reverse, the strength card in the upright. Why are you there for Leo in the past position? But it's going to be for mid-July, remember. They may want to offer you something, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like it would go very well. Even though the Ace of Discs is in reverse, it's what they're saying, it's what they're doing, but something's not right. I'm just letting you know ahead of time. And which you can decide what to do with this energy, whether to reject it or to accept it. Now, the obstacle is the Six of Wands, and it's like you're not getting a victory with the situation, whatever they're offering possibly. So Six of Wands in reverse while you're there for Leo. Uh, trying to come out of st feeling stabbed in the back, trying to regain a victory. You're trying to regain your own um, life, you know, trying to put things in an equal balance again. Ooh, I'm having a storm. Sets the mood for this, don't it? And uh, I got to read, a, I should have mentioned this earlier. I have to read a little bit earlier and put it up because I am having a medical procedure. And, you know, things happen. Now... The Six of Swords, that's kind of odd. You know, maybe it is, you know, it's a, a basic energy for everyone. But there's not a victory there. And there was a 
a past energy of feeling stabbed in the back with this person and they may present themselves to you again you're going to say oh this is not for me this is this is going to turn out to be a bust if i allow it back in so for leos that don't want this person in your life this is the people leos that don't want this person in our life and i'm trying to figure out because i'm a leo who this could be it may not resonate with me it's not going to resonate with everyone but i'm sure not going to let something like this in my life so six of wands in reverse ten of swords in reverse why are you there for leo yeah you just want more success in your life you're going for success and you may be struggling for whatever reason because the energies that we're going through with mercury and retrograde and sometimes that brings back people but i didn't get the six of cups yet so i can't say that they're coming back but you may you may very well hear something because they're there you know now, the fortune card is in reverse as the current environment for mid-July. Mid, um, Wheel of Fortune in reverse while you're there for Leo in mid-July. Prince of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, just like the earlier one, but it's a uh, princess. This is a prince, basically the same energy, except for they like to give them, you know, uh, their own sex, you know, who they are. But... In the general readings like that, it doesn't have to be male. It could be either male or female. But this person you feel like is not going to be very fortunate towards you. They're going to present themselves in a certain way where they will act like they are wanting to give you good tidings, you know, in some ways. And maybe they mean it, but for some reason they're all over the place, so something's not right with them. So Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, Princess of Swords in the Upright, why are you there? For Leo in mid-July. Yeah, someone's really unbalanced, okay? That's the art card in reverse. Just letting you know. You can do with that, you can do with this energy what you're wanting. But the thing is, don't let the don't don't let this in your life if you don't want it. And this is where Tarot helps. It gives you little warnings of, hey, you know, um, you know, dumbass is coming back around or whatever, you know, someone that irritates you. And remember, this does not have to be an air sign. It just could be someone taking on this energy. Anybody can take on this energy. Now, the outside environment is making an adjustment. Sometimes it's going to court. Sometimes, you know, um, weighing the balances. But the adjustment card, someone, you may be telling somebody to, you know, fly straight. But the adjustment card in the upright while you're there for Leo. Why are you there for Leo? Yeah, you're not wanting to collaborate with the situation at all. And that's a good thing. You're not wanting to work with it. You're going to make an adjustment in your life. You're going to make a decision. You're going to make a final decision and say, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. So adjustment in the upright three of pentacles in reverse. Why are you there for Leo? Yeah. Someone's having trouble walking away from the situation too. And remember I said this outside environment, what is coming towards you. Someone's having trouble with it. And it could be that, um, sword energy, you know, they're just having trouble. But someone has to put an end to the situation with the death card. They got to put it in the, um, put a stop to it. So the death card in the upright for Leo as the final outcome, why are you there? There it is again. Yeah, you're going to make a final decision to put this to rest and let this person out of your life. Whoever it is, it's not someone you're wanting in your life. And I don't think if you're a cross watcher and you're thinking I'm talking about you, but you're actually very sincere, then this is, this is not for you. This is not your reading. You know, this is someone who is kind of all over the place and making things kind of a mess for this person, for Leo. So the death card in the upright, the adjustment card in the upright, you're making a final decision to end this situation. Because you see things how they are with the high priestess. Things come out. And you're going to say, enough. I'm done. Final decision. You're gone. You do not make me happy with the sun card in reverse. So yeah, you're dropping the situation. You're getting rid of it. You're kicking it to the curb. You are kicking this to the curb. And it's going to be a final situation when you do it. It's not going to carry on. But this person, if you do let them in your life or back in your life, which I don't think you're going to do because you got the death card, 
um, as someone putting something to rest for good you know you're not coming back I'm not gonna hear about what you gotta say I don't care what you offered you probably stabbed me in the back before I never gained a victory what you're offering me what you're bringing to me currently in mid-July is an unfortunate situation so Leo it is up to you how you proceed here if this person contacts you maybe um, um, like I said it could be this energy and they say oh I hope you're doing well which you know that resonates a little bit with me as a Leo, but I don't let people like this in back in my life. I truly just don't because I, I read Tarot and I know when to get rid of situations. And this is one of those times where everybody needs to be just leery of who's trying to come back and say they, they, they buddy up to you when they're really just causing drama. Okay, and I'm going to let this go and I'll upload it as soon as I can. You know, things are going on. Bye.